This episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by the Far Wide app, outdoor intelligence in the palm of your hand. This week, John Sullivan is headed out to Utah on a mule deer hunt, and he'll be joined by Steve Raymond, our business partner and the founder and creator of the Far Wide app. For the last six months, Steve and John have been quarantined at home in Connecticut. We have been working constantly via Zoom video meetings and building toward the launch of the full Far Wide platform. And man can only take so many days of being stuck at home. And even though these guys have well-behaved and mannered kids, they had both hit their maximum sentence for home confinement. And John called me to help him book a mule deer hunt on one of our Utah CWMU properties in November. As a rule of thumb, we generally won't hunt the same time as our clients, and we try to hunt after all of our clients are tagged out at the very end of the season. For this reason, I booked John and Steve for the last five days of the CWMU season on this particular property, which is November 6th through the 10th. And while there's one other client hunting on the ranch at this time, there's thousands and thousands of acres to hunt, and the guides have assured me that there will be no conflict. John and Steve arrived after dark and were not able to shoot their rifles. So the next morning, before they went hunting, they made a stop and set up a target so that they could check their zeros. This is incredibly important for any hunter to do. We owe it to the animals that we're hunting to be true with our shots. This week, Steve Raymond is hunting with a Bergara Premier Series mountain rifle. It's chambered at 6.5 Creedmoor, and topped with the Burris 4-20 Veracity Scope that is outfitted with a custom turret cut specifically for the hand-loaded Pendleton ammunition. This rifle package is lightweight and ideal for mountain hunting. This week's Checking Zero is sponsored by the Adventure Armory. Rifle, scope, and ammo packages for hunters. After Checking Zero, they met up with their guides Blake and Dave loaded up in the side-by-sides, and started their hunt. This is big deer country. Vast expanses of oak brush covered ridges and aspen forests cover the landscape and provide ideal mule deer habitat. The idea is to use the side-by-sides to cover thousands of acres of country, glassing from high points, and look at as many deer as possible. Hunting the end of the season gives John and Steve a chance to hunt the first few days of the rut. It's just getting started and new bucks are showing up with the does every day. The ranch has a tremendous amount of cover and mature bucks often won't show themselves until the first scent of estrus is in the air. And it's supposed to start snowing in the next 48 hours. A massive storm was forecast to blow in and cover the mountains with up to a foot of fresh snow meaning more deer would also move down out of the high country. With a storm front coming, hundreds of deer are out and feeding, and it isn't long before they're looking at some good bucks. Yeah. Always feels good to find them. He's got big old freaking cheaters. I'd shoot that deer. He's got a big hook cheater, didn't he? Yeah. We spotted a deer we think we want to make a play on. Looks like a pretty solid buck. You know, some cool character to him. Um, drove around, got in position. We think we just have to hike, hike over this ridge right here, um, get in position and make a shot, potentially, but um, at least get a closer look. So uh, do this little stalk and see what happens. So as we got into position to do some glassing early in the morning, we had noticed uh, a beautiful, mature buck more of a non-typical uh, mule deer, but still clearly a, you know, a, a shooter buck. He actually led us to another buck, which swayed us in that direction in terms of, hey, we might have a better deer here to harvest. 
This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures has been sponsored by Pendleton Ammunition. Loading bullets, one round at a time. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures has been sponsored by Bergara Rifles. A passion for precision. Every barrel, every rifle. As Steve Raymond and his guide moved to cut the distance down, the buck that they were getting a closer look at led them to a better buck. Oh, he and he was a no-brainer. Yeah, I'm on him. At only 230 yards and with downhill shot angle, Steve held on the buck's vitals and squeezed the trigger. Nailed him. Going the, wrong way. the shot placement was perfect through the heart and lungs, and the buck traveled a short distance before piling up in the oak brush. Smoked a good shot, man. Nice, Steve. Woo! Woo! Yes! Yeah. Having come into this hunt, um, I'd only hunt mule deer with, you know, by bow, and I can say unsuccessfully. But with with having completed, um, you know, seeing this deer and being able to to come up on him, I I was almost taken away with with how big he was, and really gave me the appreciation for just how difficult mule deer hunting can be. After taking some photos and soaking up the experience, they field dressed the buck and hauled him off the mountain to the cooler. And now, with both our client and Steve Raymond tagged out, that means John has the whole ranch to himself. He's the only hunter on the entire property and he has four and a half days left to hunt. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we wanted to be incredibly selective. The most important thing to me is taking a mature animal. I, I don't just want to shoot a buck, I want to shoot the right buck. And I wanted to shoot a trophy buck, not a management deer, although I would have been happy with a management deer if that's what it came to. I was willing to pass bucks that I would have been happy with in order to you know, just let this hunt kind of come to us and let the conditions get better. But you can see the potential of this ranch just getting better and better over the next few years is, is incredible. We saw so many two-year-old four by four bucks that you know, in the next year or two are just gonna be absolute monsters. You know, it's an exciting time here because there's so much potential. So just finished up day one, um, got back to the trucks here at the gravel pit. Awesome start to this hunt. We saw a ton of deer, some really cool country all around the ranch. You know, got up high into the Aspens, uh, down low in the bottoms. There's does everywhere. We're starting to see some rut activity. And uh, Steve Raymond got a, got a nice buck down on the ground. So all in all, super successful day one. You know, we'll be back at it tomorrow morning. Far Wide is a platform that brings together a lot of different important pieces of information that any hunter can use in order to enhance their experience, whether that's licensing, regulations, uh, map locations, access, anything that enhances their ability to get out and be successful on their hunts. You've heard me talk about downloading the free Far Wide app, and now I want to introduce you to the new Far Wide online community. Born out of necessity for fellow outdoorsmen, Farwide began as a free mapping app that offered most of the same features as these other expensive apps, such as Onyx, Basemap, or Huntwise. Now, you no longer have to pay for quality mapping apps. These are features that are all completely free with Farwide. But we didn't stop there, because we watched as social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram increasingly censored hunters and lawful gun owners and allowed online bullying of hunters. And we realized that there was a need for a social media platform specifically for outdoorsmen and women alike, a safe and friendly social media platform where you can share your photos and videos and stay in touch with family and friends, as well as grow a following of other like-minded people who share your same enthusiasm for the outdoors and the outdoor lifestyle. 
So we designed and added the Far Wide Social Media platform to the app. And we invite you and your family and your friends to use this platform as an alternative to Facebook and Instagram and join us in the Far Wide online community. We are working with industry partners to create special online shopping opportunities for Far Wide app users called Far Wide Fridays, where the members of the Far Wide online community will get special deals on new outdoor products before they come on the market, as well as discounted pricing and programs week after week, available only through Far Wide. And the new digital platform within the app will allow you to stream or download your favorite outdoor television programs or videos, watch vlogs, read blogs and articles, and so much more. And joining the Far Wide online community is easy. Just download the free app to your smartphone. Additionally, app users can also access the Far Wide website from your desktop, laptop, or mobile device. Try the Far Wide app risk-free. Download it and see for yourself that Far Wide is putting the complete outdoor experience, including mapping, social media, online shopping, and digital media in the palm of your hand. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures has been sponsored by Burris Optics. Find what matters. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures has been sponsored by Marathon Seat Covers. We've got you covered. The next morning, the crew headed out into a landscape that was covered with a blanket of fresh snow, and the game was on the move. You know, it's one of the cool things is it's not just mule deer here. Um, as we drove in this morning, we've been seeing, you know, a lot of deer activity in the, in the alfalfa fields on the way up to the ranch. Uh, this morning we saw two bulls, uh, two bull elk, I should say, a six point and a five. Um, got them on camera, really cool, they're down to the bottom. We anticipated that would happen with the first snow. Um, they would moved down to the lower range and uh, they did as we thought, so. This is the type of effort you can expect from our guides. When you book a trip with Steve's Outdoor Adventures, the guides are world class. Right, Blake? Right. You know, when you get snow and you're up in the mountains, you know, at 9,500 feet, you get fog that comes with it, you can get socked in. It can make glassing these mule deer pretty tough. But we hunted through it. Um, we did the best we could. We saw some bucks, we passed on some deer. Not only is the rut getting started, but the snow puts deer into a feeding frenzy. They have to put on calories, and this means they're in the open and on the move. see the rut going. You know, we think uh, the hunting's only gonna keep getting better over these last couple days of the hunt. And uh, you know, hopefully we can catch something big tonight, but if not, we'll be back at it tomorrow. 
it wasn't that hunting was slow from the, from the outset. In fact, I mean, we saw a ton of deer right from the very first day. Obviously, um, Steve Raymond from Far Wide was able to take a great, you know, four point buck um, the very first morning of this hunt. Uh, we did understand though that based on timing, based on the moon phase, based on the weather forecast, that hunting conditions were just gonna continue to get better. Um, so I wanted to make sure I was very selective over those next few days. Um, obviously I wasn't gonna pass an outstanding buck that I saw at any point during the hunt, but I also wasn't gonna settle. I was gonna you know, be selective, look over a lot of different deer. One of the great parts about this property is that there are a ton of deer to see, whether that's does, whether that's bucks, um, and just, you know, we had the opportunity to be incredibly selective in terms of the buck that we took. With more snow forecast to fall overnight, the guides knew that more deer would move down out of the high country. And this means new bucks will be showing up every day. And hopefully the right buck will show up before John's hunt comes to an end. This segment of Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by the Far Wide app. Outdoor intelligence in the palm of your hand. This segment is sponsored by Adventure Armory. Rifle, scope, and ammunition packages shipped, ready to shoot. If you'd like to book this week's adventure for yourself, give our office a call. We will gladly take your calls, answer your questions, and help you book the hunting or fishing adventure of a lifetime. This area of Utah presents hunters with a lot of different shooting situations. You could get a shot at 50 yards in the Aspens, just as easily as you could get a shot at 500 yards across a canyon. And hunters need to be prepared to take the shot when a big buck presents it. For this reason, John decided to hunt with his suppressed Vergara B14 HMR, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. This rifle is topped with the Burris Eliminator 3 laser scope, which is programmed for the exact ballistics of the custom hand-loaded Pendleton ammunition. This is a great rifle for a vehicle-based hunt for mule deer out in Utah. And it also just happens to be a rifle package that's available from the Adventure Armory. Overnight, more snow had fallen and temperatures had dropped. The guys followed their daily routine. First, check the fields to see if any mature bucks had moved in with the big herds of does. Then, load up into the side-by-sides and head up the mountain to start glassing. You know, it seems like we have ideal conditions. Snowed a lot yesterday, snowed overnight. Got out here this morning, more bucks down in the alfalfa fields. They're rutting, they're fighting, they're chasing does. Um, it's the best day we've had so far, at least in the morning on wind. So uh, we're super hopeful that we will find the right buck this morning and we'll get it done. The clouds were lifting, giving John and the crew much needed visibility and within minutes, they spotted new bucks that they had never seen before and rutting does on a brushy ridge. Only problem, this buck was in a corner of the property where other landowners outside of the CWMU could come into play. John had to first confirm that this buck was indeed on the right property, and this was the ideal test for the new Far Wide app. John was able to use the app to determine that the buck was indeed on the right property, also see the property boundaries, who the outside landowners were, and work with his guide to plan the perfect stop. The approach wasn't going to be incredibly long. Blake took John on a path that after a few hundred yards of oak brush opened up. John was able to get into position using shooting sticks to elevate him above the brush and have a clear shot at the buck. Okay. Using the Eliminator 3 laser scope, he ranged the deer at only 225 yards, got the lit aiming point, put that dot on the buck's shoulder, and squeezed the trigger. Dropped him. Freaking dropped him. Woo! <laughs> 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 
just make sure you don't pop up. I'm safe. I've got one in the chamber though. I was shooting a Bergara B14 HMR and it really did the job. I mean, it was a, a quick, clean kill. Um, you know, pancaked the deer, dropped him where he stood. He didn't move an inch. And, you know, as an ethical hunter, that makes you feel good. You want to make sure that um, you do things as responsibly as possible and that you, you know, that the deer is, is killed as cleanly as possible. And having confidence in your rifle package, having something that you can practice with, something that you believe in and you, when you take the shot, you know you're going to make the shot uh, is incredibly important. John's excitement and enthusiasm for hunting and his emotions after taking an animal are something that I enjoy watching every time that John goes into the field. And I know that this is a hunt that he will never forget. You know, he was, he's my first non-typical buck. He had, you know, multiple cheaters. He's a six by five. You know, one cheater off his right, off his right mane being incredibly long. Um, he was just cool. He was a mature deer. He was the right deer for me. The conditions, we allowed the conditions to get better, you know, day after day. Allowed the hunt to kind of come to us while still hunting through, you know, some of the snow. And I couldn't be more happy with the deer that I took. He's a mature buck, great representation of this area. You know, I'm, I'm really ecstatic. Both Steve and John use Bergara rifles chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. And this caliber is one of the most popular in North America right now. It's an effective cartridge for deer and antelope sized game. And for its size, it packs a hell of a punch. And while we have used it to take elk in the past, it's my recommendation that this is a fringe sized elk caliber at best with little to no room for error in shot placement. But for John and Steve, it was the perfect size caliber for their Utah deer hunts, and they were both able to fill their tags with nice bucks and their freezers with fresh venison. This is a hunt that's available for all of our Steve's Outdoor Adventures clients, and if this is a trip you'd like to book for yourself or any of our other big game hunting or fishing adventures, give our office a call. We're always available to take your calls, answer your questions, and help you book the hunting or fishing adventure of a lifetime. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's show. But please remember to join us again next week for another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures.